Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn Hamlet. It is a tragedy play by William Shakespeare. In the video we are going to learn all the important points. Okay. And we, we will see what are the important events that had happened which are important from the examination point of view. So let us start. At first we find guards of the castle of Denmark experiencing some weird features around them in the castle. Now they informed entire experience to Horatio. Horatio is main character and he is friend of Hamlet, his best friend of Hamlet rather. Now he wanted to, Horatio wanted to tell Hamlet about the ghost. Okay. Now Horatio, when he was Horatio decided to inform Prince Hamlet okay, about the ghost. Now while informing Prince Hamlet, ghost reappears. Mm -hmm. Now ghost confirms it is he, King Hamlet, okay, who used to rule the kingdom of Denmark. He asks Hamlet to take revenge upon Uncle Cladius. King Hamlet said Prince Hamlet to take revenge for his murder. Okay, because it was Cladius who had murdered him with a proper planning. So let us find out what happens next. Cladius had murdered him for the kingdom and queen. Now Hamlet continues mourning. He continues becoming sad for the loss of his father's life. But still he is in he is in dilemma. Okay, whether the soul is of his father or not. Alright. Now he laments over the Loyalty, okay, lack of loyalty of his mother as well because she got married with Uncle Cladius soon after the death of King Hamlet, which Hamlet, Prince Hamlet did not like. Now, Hamlet decided to take revenge upon Uncle Cladius. After that, he pretended to be mad and behaved oddly this was a part of his plan okay he became so eccentric he did not become literally but he was just pretending okay his motive was to understand the true nature of Cladius and mother especially Cladius. in the next scene we find polonius who was bidding goodbye to latius who was departing for france Polonius was a royal attendant, okay, and he was close to Cladius. When he was sending off Latius for France, Latius warned Ophelia to stay away from Hamlet because Hamlet and Latius, both of them had enmity. Both of them were enemies, okay. So, he said Ophelia, who was daughter of Polonius and sister of Latius, not to be with Hamlet, not to think about Hamlet, not to be in with, not to be in love with Hamlet, okay. But extreme love of Ophelia was rejected by Hamlet because she belonged to this family, all right, who was one of the culprit of Prince Hamlet because father was murdered by this team, okay, Cladius, Polonius and other people. Now, Cladius and Polonius, they started spying upon Hamlet because he was behaving oddly, alright. Next we see, they find no reason, there is no particular reason behind this old, odd behavior, alright. Calls Hamlet, old friend, Gildestern and Rosencrantz, alright. Gildestern and Rosencrantz to understand, to know the odd behavior of Hamlet. Okay, Gildestern and Rosencrantz, right? Both of them arrives with the traveling actors. Hamlet decided to stage the murder because he wanted to see the change of expression of Cladius. If he is culprit, his expression will change. If not, then it will be normal. Okay. So, act was played in front of king and queen. Here, king is Cladius and queen is Gertrude, the mother of Prince Hamlet. Right. And that play was written by Prince Hamlet himself. Now, that play was staged 
okay with the help of this troop okay now play provoked cladius expression changed he became a bit angry he became a bit frustrated all right he asks the play to stop then and there now hamlet got confirmation that it was cladius who was culprit of the murder of his father now let us see what happens for cladius understands that hamlet is aware about his killing okay now cladius plans hamlet's murder he sends hamlet to england okay on the way he was supposed to be killed by his assassinators but hamlet with the help of his friends knew the plan and he had sent his two friends okay two friends who had brought traveling actors gilstern and rosencrantz okay these two friends were sent in place of hamlet to england and these two dies instead of hamlet hamlet returned back to denmark and this news was reached to mother mother got frustrated because even she was culprit okay she was equally culprit of king hamlet's mother because it was she who helped cladius now she had called hamlet for some conversation and polonius was prior there in the room and he was hiding behind the curtain this polonius okay royal attendant was kept to protect queen in that room because hamlet was already behaving madly so there was fear therefore polonius was kept now while conversing with mother hamlet understands that there is somebody behind the curtain and he thinks that it is cladius therefore he kills him as well okay unknowingly he kills polonius in place of cladius now ghost again appears ghost says that not to delay about the murder of cladius in the next scene we find ophelia committed suicide by not eating food okay indulging herself into the memory of hamlet and this is how she dies and in the graveyard when ha horatio and hamlet were talking about life and death okay the funeral procession of ophelia arrives and hamlet confronts latius for this hamlet hamlet he used to love ophelia but he was pretending that he does not love so he felt bad of course and he confronted latius for this suicide of ophelia let's move ahead now here we find latius in the court okay who has taken the place of polonius now and cladius arranged a duel between hamlet and latius okay this duel was usually done for entertainment but here the purpose was something else he literally wanted to kill hamlet through this entertainment program entertainment fight all right now uncle poisoned the sword of um latius and wine as well if he will get injured by that sword he will die if he will win and he will drink wine then also he will be dead but unfortunately gertrude drank that wine and she died both hamlet and latius in the fight wounded badly because both of them were anti to each other right so both of them fight very enthusiastically and both were wounded very badly in with this poisoned sword okay and it was only latius sword which was poisoned but in the battle they you know exchange they you know their swords got exchanged and both of them were poisoned through this sword now latius dies because of excessive wound and then hamlet also dies but he dies after fulfilling his uh motive and that is death of cladius okay now everybody dies king queen hamlet his friends okay and only his best friend remains alive and this was purposely made alive kept alive by the writer to inform fort fortinbras about this entire story
okay entire incident that happened because it was king hamlet who had killed his father in a battle so now fortinbras is going to rule denmark then onwards because there is nobody to rule there so this was all about hamlet we will meet in the next video till then take care bye bye